Hey there folks, Bill O'Leary um, coming to you in this video. I'm going to answer the question, well, what can go wrong if you don't have a will? So you're going to learn three things. Number one, what a will is. Uh, number two, what a will does or can do for you. And three, what can go wrong uh, if you don't have a will? So again, quick introduction. My name is Bill O'Leary. I'm an estate planning attorney, elder law probate, uh, and my firm is Legacy Planning Law Group, and I'm located in Jacksonville, Florida. So what can go wrong without a will? So you've all heard of a will, a last will and testament. And a will basically uh, does four things. It allows you to answer four questions that are very important to you and frankly personal to you. Number one, you decide who gets your stuff, number one. Number two, you decide what they get. Number three, you decide when they get it. And four, importantly, you decide how they get it. Who, what, when, and how. But very important that you take charge to answer those questions the way that you want down on paper, because if you don't, guess who comes in to answer those questions for your loved ones? The state or the government. And in many situations, it may not be the plan that you would want. So it's funny, uh, people will say to me sometimes, well, I don't have a will, so that means I don't have an estate plan. To which I say, oh no, you have an estate plan, all right. It's just not your plan, it's the state's plan that will be imposed. So what can go wrong? Well, I'm going to share a, 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 a real life a situation where things went terribly wrong. So a woman in her early 80s, she passed away. She was uh, living in a, a nursing home at the time. And she passed away and uh, she uh, uh, did not have a will. So where did her assets go? Well, she was not married and she had no children. She herself was one of 10 siblings. Well, of the 10, um, I believe it was seven had predeceased before or died before her. She was the eighth and he had two surviving siblings. So without a will, where does her assets go? Where do they go? According to the state's plan. So what did the state's plan say? Well, each of the 10 siblings um, uh, had an equal share of the estate, had an equal share of the estate. Well, two of them were living, so that was easy enough. But what about the seven that had passed away before her? Well, they're not alive to receive their equal share. So it goes downstream to their children. Well, guess what? Um, um, in three of the situations, this the sibling left children that had predeceased as well. So the deceased person's nieces and nephews had predeceased, and we have to go further downstream. It got to the point where um, after quite an effort to locate all of the heirs across multiple states, we ended up with over 30. And some of those heirs ended up getting such a small percentage of the estate, the fraction was 1 297th. So they're going to get enough for a cup of coffee. In addition to the difficulty in uh, locating, identifying heirs and determining their shares, there was the real battle that ensued as to who was going to be the executor of the estate. So uh, under the law in Florida, the executor uh, is that person that is supported by what's called a majority in interest of the heirs. So it's not a majority in number, it's a majority in interest. And so at first we thought that one particular person that has stepped forward, raised their hand and said, I'll be the executor. We thought that they were supported by a majority in interest. Then all of a sudden we see um, a lawyer come uh, in from downstate uh, purporting to represent another group of uh, heirs and had cobbled together enough of a group to then uh, claim that they were supported by a majority in interest and it was a real battle as, as to who was going to serve as the executor. So again, this is a bit of an extreme example for sure, but again, <laughs> it, 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 why take the chance? Why take the chance and having things go so terribly wrong if you don't have a will? The simple solution, get a will, get a will. So, hey, if you'd like to know a little bit more about what a will is, what a, uh, what, what a will does and what could go wrong if you don't have a will and maybe how we can help you, we'd love to talk to you. So we invite you to start the conversation by reaching out and scheduling a free 15 minute discovery phone call. Just go to our uh, scheduling calendar. There's a link at the bottom of this video. Just click on it, go right there, pick the day and time 
that works for you, we'll jump on the call. And again, we'll find out what's on your, your mind. If you've um, uh, enjoyed this topic, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Legacy Planning Law Group. We keep putting up more and more videos. It's a growing body uh, of uh, videos and work on our YouTube channel. Also ask that you kindly uh, like and share this video, just trying to get the word out. So um, Bill O'Leary, on behalf of every, everybody here at my firm, Team Legacy as we call ourselves, signing off. Go make it a great day and a better world.